Welcome back to Seattle Pac-10 Gymnastics. We check our score after two rotations, and Washington has actually extended their lead. The Bruins struggled on the bars, but rallied on the vault. In fact, UCLA swept the vault. Maloney and Richardson both had 995s. Jeanette Antolin, another perfect 10. That's five this year. Washington has built their lead with consistency. A school record on the bars tonight. Emily Pritchard, your winner, a 9975. Carly Dockendorf was part of a three-way tie for second on the bars, and she's a busy young lady this time of year besides her studies and gymnastic commitments. She's also part of the UW track team. Carly Dockendorf has been competing in gymnastics since Reagan was in office, and that's quite a feat for somebody who just turned 21. Uh, my parents put me in gymnastics when I was three. That's when she started, was three, and uh, she was a kid who was moving from the time she was born. I had a lot of energy, so my parents wanted to uh, put me in some kind of sport that I'd be able to use it. In fact, Carly is such a veteran of the sport that she currently owns the UW record with four perfect tens. But her success is not limited just to the gym. You see, Carly also has the second best pole vault in school history with a mark of 12 feet, 10 and one half inches. So what is the inspiration behind Carly's success? Actually, probably my boyfriend. He's a perfectionist. Um, nothing better than his best is acceptable, and he's really brought that into my life. Carly's boyfriend, Brad Walker, may be a world-class pole vaulter himself, but he admits he would never try gymnastics. <laughs> no, I'd kick his butt for sure. <laughs> well, now we know which one of these sports Brad prefers, but which one is Carly's favorite? Both are awesome sports, uh, completely diverse, and um, but gymnastics is probably still my passion right now. Well, Carly's uh, always had multiple interests. She wanted to look for a sport that she could pursue when gymnastics was over. She's always been a competitor, and she needs the challenge. So as long as she's loving what she's doing, she'll be successful. You can't argue with her success. You just hope Carly finds some time to enjoy it all. Three weeks ago, Carly became one of the few Husky athletes to ever compete in two sports during the same weekend on the road on a Friday night at Boise State. She won the all-around for the gymnastics team, then Saturday morning came back, competed in the pole vault, cleared 12, five and a half, good enough for fourth. We'll see more of Carly in just a couple minutes, but both you and her dad will have to wait because first, we go to her teammate, Amy Metcalf. Amy is a senior and she's a veteran on this team. Her mount, a tough front somersault, and she sticks it. Certainly not the place where the gymnast wants to be falling to start the routine. Flip flop layout. Good so far. Amy's had a wrist injury. She had surgery during the off season. And it's held her to compete in only one event this year, the balance beam. Saw her leap series. Important that she sticks this event. Balance beam on four inches wide, four feet off the ground. It is the pressure event. So good. So far, all she needs is to dismount. Full twisting layout. Solid routine for the Huskies. Again, keeping on the beam, staying ahead of the Bruins. A 9-9 last week at Arizona, a 9-8-2-5 here. A little bit low. UCLA still trails in the meets. But they've got their murderer's row coming up. Krista Maloney will be next up for the Bruins on the floor. And she's one of four Olympians on the roster, along with Jamie Dantry, who's out with a sinus infection, not competing here. Both she and Maloney on the U.S. national team, by the way. Kate Richardson, Yvonne Tusek on the Canadian national squad. Tusek, a two-time Olympian. Kristen's a wonderful floor performer. You know, Coach Val says she's one of the toughest athletes that she's ever coached. Watch this floor routine. Opening tumbling line, a double layout. Perfectly done. She has 20 tenths of bonus in this floor routine. Now, she doesn't need all of those tenths of bonus. She only needs five or six. But she uses them all. 
Nice double back, pike position. Beautiful jump turns. Kristen is so tough, which is just evidence of her ability to come back after the layoff. And Coach Val says she's hungry to compete again. Continues with a strong performance. Little rest before that last tumbling line. Nice, two and a half twist, perfect landing. She was so high in the air on that landing. Kristen Maloney, definitely a source of inspiration for her teammates and for her coaches. Here's her tumbling line. Two and a half times around before she lands. Very tall. Maloney, a 9-9 on the floor at Valerie Condos choreographs all these exercises. That's Chris Waller back there in the blue shirt, the assistant coach. He's an Olympian himself. He was in Barcelona. He was an all-around finalist. Let's go back to Carly Dockendorf on the beam. Carly does a press-up handstand as a mount, a good show of her strength on this event, and she is so strong. Tumbles well, good body position, nice tumbling line. She has a little bit of difficulty sticking it. Don't always see a um, back somersault on the balance beam. Carly has some unique moves. And there's a punch somersault. She's, so she's done it backwards, forwards, perfectly landed the second time around. So hard on the balance beam to maintain control and precision. The gymnasts have to be totally focused. She looks intense. Her dismount, a layout with a full twist. She had a slight step on the landing, but a solid performance. And Carly Dagendorf's having a pretty good night. She had a 9-8 on the vault, a 9-9-5 on bars in here. She follows up with a 9-8-7-5 on the beam. Back to the floor. Iman Tusek again. She was the second best Bruin on the bars earlier tonight with a 9-9-2-5. Well, when you talk Bruin floor exercise, you have to talk choreography. Great opening tumbly line for Yvonne. Full twisting salto into immediate punch front salto. But watch her art history in this event. Valerie Condos is a wonderful choreographer and so much has been said about it. Every one of her gymnasts has a theme in their routine and she plays to that theme. She picks moves that accentuate their strengths and really help them sell their routines. Yvonne has a lovely arm and dance moves. Finishes with the full twisting layout. Great routine, love to watch it. Yvonne Tusek, a strong effort for the Bruins. Her score, a 9-9. So why doesn't she look thrilled? It's all right, good job. It's all right.